We made it through another month. Can you all believe that October has ended already? I mean, we're right there. We've made it through 10 episodes, or are about to make it through 10 episodes so far. It's been nine full episodes of Will It Kill. It's the last Friday of every month. We open submission forms on the Monday of that week. If you don't know where to find the form, you just come to my chat room. You type in exclamation point form, and it's there. And if you type in exclamation point Will It Kill in my chat, W I K, it'll tell you. Stop asking me. Quit ringing the horn of Gondor, sending me carrier pigeons. It always happens the last Friday of every month, all right? Unless some drastic thing, you know, changes or whatever. This is episode 10. You should know the deal by now. The rules are simple. I will show you a fighting game clip. Some character will be in mortal peril. I'm going to pause the clip and ask a very simple question. Will it kill? You, the chat room, will vote against each other in a barbaric act of bartering. We'll trade points back and forth until some of you are broke and some of you are way, way too rich. Like, there's nothing to spend it on. I don't get anything, all right? I'm here simply to facilitate the show. I'm not trying to trick you, okay? You guys have all seen Squid Game. I am just the guy standing there in the PlayStation circle mask. I cannot, will not intervene. As always, I do not recommend going all in on the first clip. Now, you don't have to listen to me, all right? That's just what I would recommend. Well, I know a lot of you, basically all of you, love to go all in on the first clip. I know also something simultaneously important. You guys hate KOF. And I mean that because you always bet wrong on it. We're going to start with KOF, and I know how this makes you feel. Y'all ready? Here we go. Will it kill? <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. It's so nice to be here. Can I replay it? Replay what? Who are you? Where am I? What's happening now? He tapped them on the toes. That's all. People in the chat will type things like, ah, oh, dude, no way he dies. And then when you look at the little icon next to their name, it's blue, meaning they voted yes. They are actively trying to trick you in the chat, but they have a badge that says their true affiliation on the fucking screen, you know? 43% of you have a blue badge and you're those people. 57% say no. It's perfectly fine. I, I will remember this. Let's see this clip. I I'll even go back for you. You can see the first bit of the clip again. Dizzy? <laughs> I'm sorry to say, he lived. Did you see this? <laughs> Look at Kyo's face. Look at Kyo's face when he's shaking out of the dizzy. The noise it makes. Not quite enough. I'm very sorry to say, chat. Anyway, we're gonna change. We're gonna change things up in here. This is KOF 11. I did this on purpose. I was like, we have to start the show with something that will make people not want to go all in. If we start the show with KOF, it's better for everybody. Spin the wheel. Second clip. All righty, chat room. My man's got the big boots on. This is KOF 11, the one where when you look back on it and you're like, they did what now? <laughs> My man is stomping on the beach. This is the Kyanta clip all over again. KOF 15 is on the horizon, and I cannot wait for that game because, you know, it's only going to bring us more joy for Will It Kill. You know that? I will have the joy. I don't know if you guys will be there, but I will be ecstatic. Someone's going to get hit 99% live. I'm going to hit the space bar and be like, well, 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 chat. 70% of you voted yes. 30% of you voted no. Damn, it is uh, it's pretty surprising. I gotta say, I'm impressed by this one. All right, chat. You're not as green around the gills as you look. All right, he's gonna roll through. Look at this. What is this shit? He flies in the stun. He flies in like a bat out of hell. And he lives. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It did do a lot of damage at the beginning. The way he does like this stretch arm shot, what is that move he does to do the super? That is like the weirdest looking move. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Just 
Yeah. You did the little robot shuffle and it didn't happen to do enough damage. KOF is not your specialty, and I understand that, all right? It's not a big deal. Out of the land of KOF, back into something you guys know and love. We're gonna do some Tekken and some Street Fighter. Everybody knows Tekken, you guys are all Aeris fans. So let's get into some Tekken. And you play Tekken, you got this? All right, Tan Man. My roommate, he will lead you to the guiding land, all right? He's got this covered. And it's the character he plays. Sorry, I paused it slightly early. <laughs> Look at the face down here. Have you ever been launched? Because that is the face of, of somebody who has been launched. I gotta say, like that look of just pure despair down there. It's <laughs> so good. Damn, Tan Man votes dead. It is a lot of damage. This character, she spins around, she kicks you with the thing, she splats you with the drive. And she, is, does she boot you? I don't know what she does after. You know exactly what I mean by that description. She does a spinny roo into a kicky thing, into a splat, into a punch. She does like the punch, right? Isn't that what it is? 61% of you say yes. 39% of you say no. Let's go back and take a look at this clip. Oh, <laughs> I'm very sorry to say. My roommate doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's out here just making shit up about Tekken 7. He's a fucking aerospace engineer. What does he know about Tekken? You guys are all just gonna trust him? Blame Harada for that. Isn't that the extra health? That's the Harada care package, right? Isn't that what they call it? I see a lot of 0-3s in the chat, actually. I see a lot. In the chat, I read, I'm not gonna keep score because if I did, I would be sad. <laughs> this is a happy game. I'm happy. Why aren't you guys happy? Come on, man. What do you mean I'm not keeping score? You gotta keep score. Alrighty, everybody, calm down. It's time for some good old fashioned Street Fighter. Honest, simple Street Fighter, where everybody knows the rules. There's none of this made up KOF twerking all over the screen nonsense. Just a real honest game. Well, you let me know, chat room. Will it kill? Easy peasy, this is Street Fighter, okay? This should be the easiest one of all time. Does it hit? Yeah, the demon hits, it's a demon. Who is that character, they said? His name's Akuma, okay? You, you may have seen him in games such as Marvel vs. Capcom. He's also been in CVS, for instance. You've seen him there, he was in Tekken 7. He's kind of been all over the place, to be quite honest. I'm on her life bar, to be fair, but I mean, you don't need you know, I'm not really in the way. There's something about just a nice raw demon that makes for a good clip, doesn't it? 55% of you say yes. 45% of you say no. Not bad, it's pretty close to even. This is a tough one. So let me go back for you. You can watch this together. I'm sorry to say, chat room, she lived. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> you just see a wave of blue names saying, bro, no, bro. And then all of a sudden, it's just like an explosion of red saying yes. It's just everybody just saying yes. I saw if I lose this, I lose my house. So I was one of the comments and it was somebody who voted no. So I was like, you know, I'm glad you keep your house. Meanwhile, there's somebody else who's just lost their house. We got some more Street Fighter for you also. 3S, you say? Absolutely right. Let's take a peek. Alrighty then, chat room. Ibuki did have full life a second ago. My man Ryu is focused. Look at him. He is down there, low shortened with the best of them. Postured up. You're over here betting on a stun, thinking about like, could she get stunned? Could this do this? The rest of the chat is sending it. You're over here overcomplicating the game, trying to think or whatever. What a weirdo. Over here thinking about the clip, trying to calculate stun values and damage output and which SA this and SA that. This is a clean 70-30 for sure. 70% of you say yes, 30% of you say no. It is wild that Ibuki has 70% life and everybody's like, yeah, she's dead. All right, watch the clip again. You know, I gotta say, 
she fucking exploded. That shit did so much fucking damage. There was no stun. There was no trick. Shinsho on Crouching Ibuki just fucking explodes her. Oh my god, how did she die? When she gets hit by this first short, look at where her life is right now. She just gets hit crouching. Crouching damage, if you don't know, crouching characters take more damage in this game. Look at how much damage this shit does. Son! Uh, that was quite a bit. That was a number of damage. Speaking of, of high damaged games, we do have some Melty Blood in the show for you. I got submitted a lot of Melty Blood, and 80, maybe 90% of the Melty Blood was somebody pops, and then they go like this. And they hold out their arm, and then psh, the shield explodes, and then it's a last arc. I wanted somebody to submit a combo that's not just like a big raw super. So, you guys all ready? All righty, chat room. You are all Melty Blood experts. I saw you all posting Majino Pokimane in my chat. You're all familiar with this character, CL. It does say Fatal Counter. Fatal does mean death. Volume is quiet. It has to kill. I turned it up, though. Doesn't Evo belong to Pokimane? Yeah, that's, she's playing right now. She's bet a lot of channel points so far, I think. Show Moon? Okay, I'll show the Moon. Sorry. She's got a lot of Moon. 63% of you vote yes. 37% of you vote no. Okay. We had to find a melty clip that wasn't just last arc into, you know, the whole shebang. So I'll show it again. <laughs> the noise at the end gets me every single time. It's just like a jump scare. Yeah, this did way more damage than I thought it was going to do. I got to be honest. Anyway, this is from Goichi's tournament, actually. Someone sent this from Goichi's event and was like, dude, I couldn't believe this combo. It's sick nasty. I was like, let me take a look. It was a pretty good clip. I'm a big fan of that one. And it's not just a last arc explosion, all right? I'm, I'm not trying to watch fucking a goddamn cutscene. Excalibur just fucking over and over. I've seen so many. You know what's funny, chat? I hear my roommate playing fighting games now. You think he's doing the Asuka combo to see if there's something better? That was max damage, he says. <laughs> Alrighty, chat. We got some good old Guilty Gear. A lot of you have seen a lot of Guilty Gear over the years. We've, we've been playing a lot of gear. Time to see some plus R in action. It's Soul Bad Guy. You guys all know Soul Bad Guy. So it should be pretty easy. Basically, like, your icon flashes right when you're about to be so Alrighty, chat room. I ask a very important question. Will it kill? This is also such a beast. There's, okay, a couple of things going on here. One, this soul bad guy color is hella good. Two, Jason Riot is like a really good, I feel like if you're, if you're gonna play soul, your name needs to be Jason Riot Stamp, maybe, but that is a good name for a soul player. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be John Fafner when I come back. No bar, no kill. Soul has meter. I can be wrong four in a row. <laughs> well, I don't know about all that. Let's not let's not say things so confidently. What's our vote? It looks like 40% of you say yes, 60% of you say no. I like this one a lot. It even has the combo ender you like. Basically, like your icon flashes red when you're about to be stunned, so who has the wherewithal to pay attention to that? How many how many how many sidewinders is there? I'm sorry to say it's not enough sidewinders to get the job done. That shit did no damage. There was like so many sidewinders and it, it's just not doing anything. How many? How many? <laughs> that barely tickled. I feel like if Order Soul had more life, he would have died almost. Like I, he actually did no damage. Like he was just sitting there like eating these sidewinders like, what up? You think I give a fuck? Speaking of which, we got some Strive. I got submitted, I'm not kidding, right? So we had like 450 submissions this time, which is a, a shit ton, right? Way more than we've ever had before. I would say a solid 280 of them were Strive. There was so much juicy stuff in there, but unfortunately, you know, not all of it's gonna make it. We got two people on the stream that you guys are familiar with, to be honest. As you can see here, this is from Apology Man stream playing against Red Ditto. You see Red Ditto playing all the time on my stream, right? By the way, if you submitted the clip or if you know the clip, don't vote on it. All righty then, chat room. New Ram Rekka. You know, it's a little different in this, uh, in this patch. It definitely, it's got a plus 10% damage bonus because it's Apology Man. And the look on his face, you can kind of just, you know, 
that might be there too. Yeah, there's a little bit of risk. Looky look, 85% of you vote yes. You just see Apology Man and you're just like, well, well, well. Time to make back some of that money I lost, I understand. Why would I show a clip on my stream of Apology Man living? 70% of you vote yes, 30% of you vote no. Let's find out. I'm very curious about this clip. Let's uh, let's see what everybody thinks, okay? There's not much to it, if it makes you feel any better. It's literally Rekka, Super. That's, that's the combo. It's just Rekka into Super. Sick gameplay, love it. Sick gameplay, let's go. How in the fuck did he die? This did so much fucking damage. I was in shock. First of all, I didn't even know you could do that. Second of all, I was so in shock that in the chat room at during the clip, I was there. I said, son, how is he dead? I was there. I watched the murder in front of my eyes. And when I saw the submission, I was like, oh yeah, that was pretty rough. Speaking of which, another great clip appeared in my timeline, I gotta say. A lot of these people that are always around playing in my chat room are also streamers these days. This one, uh, interestingly enough, it's a Faust player. He goes by the name of Life Jam. He's playing against the mysterious Denim Soul player. I think his name is uh, Fuzzy Jump. And uh, I'm very curious about what you think about this clip, chat. Alrighty then, chat room. Time for a very important question. Will it kill? What patch? Uh, this is this patch. There's no burst here. I was submitted this clip by Life Jam. You can tell because he's got the bag, the bag man down here. Somebody asked about a clip of me ever being on the show. And I was like, nah, I don't know if I ever get any good moments like that. And I saw this clip and I was like, oh, this is a cool clip. I kind of like the way this one goes. And then I was like, wait a minute. That's a really interesting soul color. <laughs> I forgot that I had played Life Jam off stream. I did not remember this. 58% of you vote that I will kill. And 42% of you voted no. Fair enough. I mean, to be honest, the starter is... is uh, when I saw this clip for the first time, chat, I want you to know that I voted no. That's all I'll say about this. Yeah, Ventus is already on to me. I know. I did close slash far slash. You never want to do that. But the wall was pretty fucked up. I'm yeah, it still looks like zero frames, yeah. It sure did. It sure did, Life Jam. <laughs> he submitted a clip of himself dying. Oh, that shit is so good. There's a lot going on in this clip. First of all, the throw... This is a hint. I don't know if you guys noticed. This throw tells you that the wall took a lot of scaling. The second hint... It, this is not a good starter. Close slash into far slash. I showed it on purpose because this is not a good starter. But the rest of it is pretty optimal, IMO. I should maybe fuzzy jump. Sorry, gamers. It killed. <laughs> he had no business dying with that much health, I gotta be honest. The next clip, you guys submit a lot of these, right? I get a lot of uh, clips from Blaze Blue, and I'm no Blaze Blue expert. But there were so many this time. It's the last clip before our halftime show. So this is a good time to put some money on the table and then step back and just you know, do a little bit of breathing. And remember, this this first half always is the, the easy half. Get this clip out there, and then we'll work into our halftime show and everybody can calm down. It comes down, two fireballs. Goes high, JJ, ooh, ooh. burst, will not matter. All righty, chat room. Will this kill? Everybody seems pretty confident in this. You guys crack me up. My favorite comment I saw in the chat was the person who said Moo Poke is in here? Someone find out what he votes on this clip, and Moo Poke was like, "I don't fucking play Blaze Blue. Moo Poke plays Persona." <laughs> You're thinking of the wrong person. Who's like? I don't know if we have a resident Blaze Blue expert in the chat room. All right, what do we have here? Fifty-five percent of you say yes. Forty-five percent of you say no on this. I saw a lot of people pretty confident she was dead. I'm kind of surprised by this vote. Well, let's uh, let's find out. Is he dead? Will it kill? Say Jim! Say Jim! Kill! Say Jim! Kill! Say Jim! You killed baby! And Kurt I'm sorry to say it did kill Chad. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know if they made it clear in the clip. You guys all seem so confident. I saw literally in the chat, it's deader than dead. This character is Omega dead. This shit's over. 
Why are we even voting? There's no chance they're not dead. And then the vote was so close. I don't know why. You guys should have just trusted your instincts. Every will it kill now. It's happening more and more. So many of the clips have somebody asking, all right, chat, will it kill? Which is like, now I feel responsible. I'm like, okay, we, I gotta start asking it. I gotta start making it clear. Right, Moo poke. It's blaze blue. Moo poke is it gonna kill? You gotta start asking people out there. It did kill. All right, everybody relax. What's our records? This is the halftime show. Our records are looking good. Seven, five, seven, five. Oh, seven threes. Okay, I looked at five, five below it. I was like, seven, five? What the fuck kind of will it kill you playing? Two and eight, it could be worse, mathematically. It seems like people are struggling a bit on this one. This one is definitely has some divisive clips. Speaking of which, we have lots of stuff in the halftime show. We have a submission by Ryan Hunter, though, that is not gear at all. Now, I gotta say, chat, I've been submitted in my life many will it mixes, okay? I've been submitted a lot. But this is the one that I, I don't think I've seen a mix up tougher than the one on here. Let me know if you block this mix up. Here we go. Son, where did that kick come from? I was looking at his other leg the entire time. Bam, right in the fucking head. The leg is cocked up and you're watching the leg like here it comes. It sails over your head and you're like, what an idiot. Completely missed the bam. The back, the back leg is the deadly one. Speaking of Ryan, I had a great Will Ryan die clip that got submitted. It did not make the cut, I think, because the combo was kind of, I kind of expected it. But it's got our friendly neighborhood life jam. And I got to say, there is a there is a lot of you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm happy that it's not just me that feels this way. OK, can I just say it's I'm happy that it's not it's not just me that I, I experienced that feeling. Nice. This motherfucker, that setup, man. Yeah, this is the combo. Yeah, I think unfortunately the the kill was just a little too obvious. I also got submitted a bunch of who will it kills this time. And uh, it was pretty funny because like will it kill clips, you know, a lot of it is about energy, right? This one really cracks me up because it's ginger. You guys might know the melee player. And I was like, all right, let me see it. Nice. I'm going through will it kill clips. You know, I'm like hundreds of clips in and I click this clip. There's like no other audio basically besides nice. And I was just like, <laughs> it made me laugh so hard. I was like, you know, it's probably not going to make the show. <laughs> but <laughs> it was like, the lack of energy was like actually so funny to me. This was supposed to be in the last halftime show. I usually have a bunch of halftime shows and I usually don't play all of them. I love this clip. I'm so sad I couldn't use it. But look at this fucking, this bombo she's about to get hit with. Him just like falling off the edge, this fucking beast. Like he just starts stabbing her and then he's just like, whoa, he just, <laughs> just falls off the fucking map. Oh man. I also, I gotta say, this is maybe the saddest a clip has ever made me about not being able to be in the show. This is one of my favorite clips ever. It's a Tough Love Arena clip. It's so good. I was so happy about this. It's a time over clip, right? It's a time over and like the problem with this clip, obviously Rice wins the match, right? So he tried to throw at the end and like, it's like a time over. The problem is I couldn't find a good way to do like a who will win. However, time. what the fuck is this? It does damage after the time over. I could, I was astounded. I have never in my life seen a game where post round ending, right? It does damage like this. In every other game, like once time happens, there's no more additional damage, right? Even if your super is going to hit, kill them or whatever, right? Yeah, garlic wins. Garlic wins is what happens here. I was so invested in making this happen in the show, but I did not know how to do it. You know when I say I'm not trying to, to trick you? Okay. Including this clip, this is a, truly a fucked up clip. I would have gotten threats if I included this clip. A couple of other things. One thing, a lot of people submitted this clip, okay? Did not make it to the, the, the show. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this. This is the show with the two girls. It's just an infinite. And I've never seen anything like this. What I call this combo, and I don't know if anybody else calls it this, this is Korean hit stun. She starts Korean backdashing in hit stun. And like, like, player two is Korean backdashing, right? 
straight up doing a Korean backdash in hit stun. Like I've never in my life seen Korean hit stun before. It's like brand new. I've never seen anything like that. And she's just dead from full life. You know, there's a reset in here, so it's kind of hard to like submit this. But like, I'm not kidding when I say like 15 people submitted this clip at least. For a similar reason, I didn't include this clip because I think literally every human on the planet submitted. I, I This might be one of the most submitted clips in one month ever, this one. You all have seen this on Twitter, I'm sure. The Ram player doing 6P and then dying. This clip has been submitted, like it probably got submitted 20 to 25 times. Like this is just her getting smoked and dying from full life. Right, this is just it. This clip got submitted so many times. It is Leffen and Slash, yes. So many people fucking submitted it that like everybody's gonna know the answer. Like I don't think anybody's gonna be surprised. They're all gonna be like, yep, here's laughing again, dying in one hit to the May. Anyway, we're all done. I wanted, you know, the halftime show serves a couple of purposes. One, it's supposed to make you relax and and you know, not think about your extreme losses. And two, it gives you some time to earn some new points while watching the stream, right? The first half, it's got regular energy, right? The first half is kind of just like, all right, let's see some of these, you know, fighting game clips, There's Tekken, some Street Fighter, you know, the normal stuff. Now, the second half, it's our descent into madness. And it really is a very abrupt descent. Just keep in mind that nothing will make sense. So with that being said, our first clip of the second half, good old Chaos Code. Everybody loves this game. It's been featured on the show many times. Been on here quite a bit. A lot of people like this. All righty, chat. Will it kill? This is the second half. I just want you to know. This is what you got yourself into. I warned you. <laughs> how much meter? Great question. If I knew how the gauges worked in this game, I'd let you know. What do you mean, how much meter? I'm not covering anything. It's all on the screen. Why are you asking me how much meter? Talk about my boy, Ray. <laughs> you tell me. I don't know. Ray does look kind of cold in this portrait. He's kind of posted up. I love this clip. The title of this clip is Counter Hit Jump D. And you can imagine what that jump D is given the position on screen, 61% of you say yes. You're just rocking it up. 39% of you say no. Uh, I don't know that I need to replay the clip because uh, you've seen everything so far. The match started and then he kicked him in the head. Jam D, this is my favorite. This There's a lot going on here. Uh, one thing I like about this clip is that he's stunned. And there's a lot of combo to go. I'm, there's so much combo to go, in fact, that I don't know how he gets stunned in the first, like, 10 hits, but. Yeah, he's not doing a lot of damage. But the thing is, is, like, it doesn't seem like he's running out of hit stun. You know? Slam his dumb ass. Punch him. Bam! And the big slug at the... I love the ending of this combo. He aimed for the head and punched right in the head. Like, this is this is lethal damage. You know when they tell you, like, as you're a kid, they're like, hey, in dodgeball, you can't hit him in the... This is Roy. Look at the angle. This motherfucker played dodgeball. That was right in the head. Well, it killed. I'm sorry to say, chat room, if you voted no. I know that was a little... That was a little much, chat. So I figured we could take it back a notch and do some more Street Fighter, okay? You guys all know Street Fighter. And because it's Street Fighter, it should be a pretty easy bet, I think, okay? All righty then, chat room. I don't believe this one was a counter hit jump D, but I do gotta know, will it kill? <laughs> I just see someone in the chat say, nah, I'm out. Damn, there is a 10 win streak on player one side. I didn't even notice that. You gotta look at every piece of info available. I like that theory, like, oh, there's a 10 win streak, all right. That's a good sign that this person's gonna be good, right? Like, I like that. All right, 39, 61 is the vote, is what we're looking at. The last big jump and killed. So, you know, I'm glad to see that you guys are more, you're leaning in one direction stronger this time. I'm sorry to say chat room. He did not die, I'm sorry to say. He lived. He lived on a pixel. He lived on a pixel, and he gets chipped out. Long combos like this are so good, 
because so many people in the chat are like, it can't keep going. No, like it's got to stop. I hate it here. How's everybody's records? Are you doing okay? Is the second half treating you well so far? I went 0-2 and, and then stopped. This isn't a breath. You got to send it. This half has a theme so far. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but uh, we'll see. You got all the pieces of the puzzle. I would have thought you would have followed up with the, with the combo. All righty then, chat room. Once again on the jump in. I'm asking again. No more jump ins. Chat room. Every fighting game has jump ins. What do you mean no more jump ins? A jump in usually is a good thing. This is Kizuna Encounter. Some people were asking what game this is. Yeah, everybody's favorite. I don't know what it's on. I was going to say the platform. I honestly have no clue. Uh, Fightcade, maybe? Like, I don't know what it's on, to be quite honest with you. Wait, is it a tag game? I don't know. It's a great question for someone. B submitted this clip, so I just assume you can ask B and she'll tell you. What are we looking at here? 66% vote yes, 34% of you vote no. All right, let's take a peek. I mean, it's just a simple little jump in. That was a grab. Yes, the overhead combo. Oh, going to put pressure into the corner. Okay. Oh, he gets it with the super desperation. Uh, okay. more life is bar. Gonna is he going to do it? Yes, he's going to do it. <laughs> oh my God. Someone clip that. Someone clip that. Someone clip that. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it did, in fact, kill through the second life bar. I don't even know if I mentioned there was a second life bar. It did, in fact, kill. They seem as surprised as all of you, which is usually a pretty good sign. Sage M, you fuck. Did I force you to gamble on what the fuck is the name of this game? Kazuna encounter that I come to your house, grab your mouse and say, you got to go all in on Kazuna encounter. I didn't make you. You chose to gamble your own points. Someone asked to play it again. Here's the jump in. That was a grab. This shit goes on for forever, doesn't it? Like it is a long combo. I, it looks like after this is going to, oh, okay. there's too much flashing. It looks like after this is going to be the end. <laughs> that shit did so much damage. The best part about these is like seeing shit that you never would have seen in your life if it wasn't for this like moment, you know. Next clip, we're going to go back to some Guilty Gear, but this this one is some good old fashioned plus R. We didn't want to overload you with too much Guilty Gear in the first half. So you guys are, are probably locked and loaded, ready for this one. You know, you looked at all the Guilty Gear experts in the chat. I'm sure you'll have this one figured out easy peasy. All righty then, chat room. It's Lord Testament, and uh, Burst is not a factor in this combo. I guess I can show you on the first hit, since it is the little overhead that hits, the 6P. This is about where his health is at, where it starts. The title, Will It Kill Pot Combo. That is Potemkin on the screen. I don't know how to break it to you. I smell stun. That is always something that people sniff for. There are some combos where stun is a factor. There's some combos where like the wall health is a factor. And this one, you let me know. 47% no, 53% say yes. Okay, so let's go back. We'll we'll watch the hit again. Overhead. Good old tree combos. Everybody loves the tree. Off the net. Scoop de whoop. The keys there. The trees there. The poison. Skibbity whoop. This is the real skibbity whoop character. Yeah. Yeah. That just goes on. It just keeps going. I didn't know that this was a thing. Like, I didn't know that this is a route you could just do on Potemkin like this. And I was like, bro, what in the fuck is this character? I don't think it was Justice that was the other character that this was on. But there was another character that was like this. That was, it was like the same kind of route. Tree into fucking spin over and over and over. And it was just, that was the combo. Scammed? Explain how you were scammed. He had burst triple question mark. I said there was no burst, burst as a factor, a factor in the clip. The only scam is reaching into your own wallet and spending your own money. I don't hate Sage M, I hate Testament. See, that's the kind of hate that I can appreciate on this channel. That is the life of playing Potemkin, though. I mean, you chose to put yourself there. This is not Kyanton, no. Close, but no cigar. Teleport table blocks it, blocks the follow up. Put a black there. Oh. Too much. Okay. All righty then, <laughs> <laughs> we got some Jackie Chan, Fist of Fire. You guys all liked Jackie Chan the last time it was on the show, last time we talked about it. Jackie Chan is cool. A lot of people like Jackie Chan. It's not Mortal Kombat, no. 
I don't even know who this guy could be. Kano, I guess. I don't know who this character is supposed to be. He does do like a buzzsaw move. The kicks kind of look like it's Sub-Zero. Yeah, Jackie's Sub-Zero. <laughs> Damn, there's a lot of yeses on this. This is a lean and heavy. Not surprising. Jackie Chan's a pretty wild game. I, I have not seen it until recently. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty absurd. 67% of you vote yes. 33% of you vote no. Let's see how it is. I already see people cursing in the chat. Why are you cursing? Oh, the timer? You just noticed the timer? What about the timer? Locks it. Locks the follow-up. Put a black there. Oh. Too, too much. Hey. Goes for the super. Of course, not enough to kill. Will she convert out of it? Yes, she will. Oh, and that's Big gonna question. stun. Big question. Will, they, will this kill? Will it kill? It kills! Oh I'd someone send that to Sageam. They did. Someone send that to Sageam. They did send it to me. On. And it did kill. I'm sorry to say. Who is this character supposed to be? What Mortal Kombat character <clears throat> did you guys think this was? Striker? Sub-Zero died. Doc Brown in Sub-Zero? Johnny Cage with a mullet? I don't know who it's supposed to be. Jackie Chan is a wild game. Every Jackie Chan clip that we get submitted, the character is full on life and then gets hit by something and the entire screen explodes. There's a bunch of mashy inputs like to wiggle out of something and then they die. Alrighty, the next one, Battle Craze. I'm sure a game a lot of you know a lot about. Always excited to see the Battle Craze community, the BC, stepping up to uh, do something tight. As opposed to the ADs. After the square hole war. <laughs> it changed me. Alrighty then, chat room. You let me know. You Battle Craze experts out there, BC. You let me know. Will it kill? I like how everybody's just like, what is Kingpin? Don't talk about Evil Sherm like that, okay? Or Wallace. Where the boy at string? Don't talk about him, all right? Don't talk about Wallace like that. What am I looking at? Make sure you get your votes in. Those are my favorite people who are like, I have no idea what's happening. I'm going to vote. Yeah, Evil Sherm was doing zoning, and then Wallace made it in. You know how Wallace players are. They act like it's so tough to get in, and then they fucking make it in on Evil Sherm of all characters. If Wallace can get in on Evil Sherm, like, who can't Wallace get in on, you know? We got 75% of you vote yes. 25% of you vote no. I see the rock strategy is uh, pretty common today. I like it. All right, let's back up a little bit. Beginning of the clip. Evil Sherm, bad fireball. <laughs> it changed me. Jesus, fuck. Wow. Wow. <laughs> You know, Wallace got <laughs> the laugh at the end is the one that kills me every time. That one's pretty good. Again, you might as well ask the Reaper that. <laughs> they make it very clear. It did kill Chad. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> it's not quite Boko time. All right. Everybody calm down. I don't think there there is no Boko this time. There's no Boko o'clock. We didn't get enough Boko to fill our bar. Although we have some stuff that will, I think, fill you with the same kind of joy. Don't worry. Azu Manga Fighter. Great soundtrack. Uh, and the battle mechanics seem like a lot of fun. The dog cross up. Alrighty then, chat room. Got the activation. Pops into the jab. What the dog doing? I figured I would ask very simply, will it kill? That's a cat? Well, that, there was a dog cross up. Where's the timer? Uh, there's currently two cats for the time currently. I don't know if you've noticed it. Do with that what you will, okay? <laughs> I don't got anything else to tell you besides that. It's two cats o'clock. It's Azumanga. You know how time works differently in this universe. It's also four bars. That's true. And they have the Shun Goku Sats uh, ready to go. That's not what this is. Ready to go. And as you can see, if I move my camera, little lady here doesn't have the Shun Go Goku Sats, so she might be in trouble. 63% of you say yes. 37% of you say no. And I'm glad you're willing to just shoot into the dark. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I love that music. It's pretty good, huh? Win! That's what I'm talking about. You guys just bet all your money on a cat slapping a girl to death. You realize that? Dude, this is what your life is like. What is wrong with you? How did you end up here? This is the kind of player expression, interactive gameplay, and defensive finesse that I'm looking for in my fighting games, okay? Why would you pimp slap a 10-year-old girl to death? All right, yeah. You never played a fighting game before, and it shows. Those are the most dangerous characters in the game. All righty, chat room. You know what time it is. You know what the deal is. Enemy Stadium.
Egg dog versus bad dog. All right. Bonk. All righty. That is such a good... Look at the way bad dog is trying to slug. Junior Jam versus Star Itch. Egg dog versus bad dog. That shit hit like a fucking truck. The way that overhead landed, there is no butt 69. You don't have that to rely on. However, it is Bad Dog versus Egg Dog. Egg Dog is a horrendous character. I think Egg Dog is one of the scariest fighting game characters I've ever seen. Egg Dog makes me uncomfortable. Wow. Look at this vote. 26% say yes. 73% say no. A lot of people seem not to believe. A lot of people are trying to rock it up. Some people do not buy it. And then everybody follows the wave. They're like, uh, there's a lot of no votes. I'm sending it for no. Egg dog big can't be cracked. Oh no. With the big damage right now. Thing deployed. Thing deployed. Not quite enough. I'm sorry to say, chat, it's not gonna kill. The rule is if there's no butt 69, this shit doesn't kill. If butt 69 is not on the screen, it's a no. And I don't make the rules. That's just I just follow them. We didn't get submitted any Kyanta that was gonna work this time. But I do have a very special game to replace that slot. You know, Kyanta is always the second to last slot in the show. I've never seen this game in my life. I don't even know what Avengers in Galactic is. I got submitted this clip. It really encapsulates a lot of really happy feelings. Okay, let's get into this. All righty then, chat room. Will it kill? Dude, can I tell you the way he says Iron Man? It made me laugh for like maybe 45 minutes. Like, you know, in the modern game, when Cap calls an assist, he goes, I need backup. But in this game, he just goes, Iron Man. Yeah, also, it has like a voice glitch earlier in the clip. He gets hit at full life. He's, uh, he's in some danger. It's literally just Endgame. Like, that's what this is. This clip is just, it's basically the same thing. You don't even have to watch the movie. 76% of you say yes. 24% of you say no. All right, let's go back. Let's, we, I want to hear it one more time. He gets stunned. He gets owned, and he fucking says, Victory! What is this game? Can anybody explain to me, Avengers of Galactic Storm? Don't care, I won the bet. Word, you're spitting, actually. Is this how you all feel right now, chat? Cap is top tier, he looks good. Gotta say, he did a lot of damage. We have made it to the very last clip of the show. I hope you guys are all ready. Now, look, if you want to spend all your channel points, be my guest. I can't stop you, okay? You, you live your best life. You know, you're a grown-up. Whatever sounds good in your heart, you know, you can do that. We got Dengeki Bunko fighting Climax. Uh, good luck. He has a lot of resources to burn. All right. Ball is life. Oh, no. That was the right choice for a flash. Ball is life to myself. Reset, and I have to ask. Will it kill? You got the purse overhead reset here in the middle of the combo. I have to ask, will it kill? This is the ball is live combo. One assist active. I don't even know what that means. I don't know if there's an assist. I don't know if there's a meter. I don't know if there's not a meter. I don't know how it works. You let me know, chat room. This is, uh, this is a sick clip. I'm glad that we found this one too because there were so many. I mean, look, there was a lot of clips submitted this time. So digging through all of them, I'm really happy that this one made the cut. It's such a good clip. And I think overall, a really fun show. We have how much? Is that 17 million channel points I see on the line for this last one? 65% say yes, 35% say no. Best of luck there, chat room. I'll let you watch it from start to finish. Ball is life. Oh, no. Ball is life. Get the bounce. Dunk that shit. Is he dead? Pull up on your dumb ass. Oh, no. Burn it all. And this is you right here, chat room. Dribbling up the courts with your channel points. Shoot it. Fucking from downtown. He's on fire. Is this shit gonna kill? Shoots for three. Oh, he's, he's not that. No oh, good. Nah, hell no. That shit didn't kill at all. That was you right there. You took your channel points and you were like, oh, no. That shit airballed. 
You all lost all those channel points. Was it like 11 million on yes or something like that? You guys were looking like hook gang god in the paint. I'm sorry to say. Happens to the best of them. You pull up. What also, what is this character? What is this ball is live character? What the fuck does she do? She actually just dribbles the basketball? This is what she does? She just pulls up on you and does this? Is what she does? I've never seen this character. She like runs up on you, dribbles, boom, boom, bounce the ball. Like, what is this? Ball is live chat. <laughs> That's your points right there. Broke even, 11, 9, 10, 7, 5, 15. My dearest brother. I see a lot of people are having some tough time. They're always re-earnable, whether it's by watching the channel again for the month or, or by rebetting on the next will it kill. All you need is a couple of things to go right. Come back by the casino last Friday of every month, make a couple of investments, and you know, you'll be right back to where you were before.